Welcome to another Arwen's Meanderings, and today I'm removing the carburetor from my Tohatsu 3.5 horsepower outboard engine. This video is part of a series of videos tracking my learning as I service my own outboard for the very first time. So, the first tip. Start by putting a tray or pan below the engine to catch any bits which may fall out. And then, use a 10mm socket to remove the three petrol tank retaining bolts. Lifting off the tank and securing it at the rear of the compartment will reveal the carburettor below. Put a pad of paper towel below the carburettor and then open the fuel draining screw until fuel trickles out. Don't unscrew it all the way though. When the fuel has drained, remember too to tighten it back up. After draining the carb, remove the thick black pipe from the top of the carburettor and tuck it out of the way. Place another paper pad under the carb and then slide the fuel line clip down the pipe and gently wiggle the fuel line off its brass spigot. Throughout the removal of the carburettor, I took lots of photographs to help me reassemble it correctly later on. Familiarise yourself at every opportunity with what goes where before removing the carb. Now, carefully remove the choke cable securing nut and plate. The cable is under tension, so it may spring up as the tension is released. Wiggle the wire out of the hole on the plastic plate on the carburetor top. Now it's time to loosen and remove the two bolts that hold the carburettor onto the inlet manifold behind it. Ease them out carefully by hand and make sure you hold the black air intake doors unit firmly. It will spring off and it has a hidden nut inside it which could fall out. To do the final removing of the carburettor you now need to do two things. Firstly, turn the carb 90 degrees to disengage the thick throttle wire. Then secondly, ease out the two remaining pipes from their outlet holes in the base of the engine compartment. In the link section below this video, I have put my blog post on the carburetor cleaning, which has further photographs and links to other useful websites on this subject. 